Hey guys, how you doing? This is the December update for the Saracenia Forum and there's a lot of things I want to go over in this update so uh, bear with me. The first part of the update will be changes to the forum that are happening in December. So in December uh, we're going to start cleaning up the forum a bit. First thing has already been implemented with the right hand sidebar. The Kickstarter that's currently in the right hand sidebar won't always be there in December. It's going away once the Kickstarter finishes. It's going to be replaced with different things. I'm also going to put interesting things that are happening on the forum in that section. If other things are going on on the web I'll put the links there. So you can have like the forum at a glance on the right hand sidebar on the first page only. The second thing we're going to be cleaning up in December would be the monthly pick section. Currently it's just a bunch of threads by month. I wanted to change that so that they're organized by year. So I'm going to have a yearly system where each year gets its own folder and then every month the folders would be updated with the monthly one. So it's easier to search that way. If you want to see something from 2013 you just click on 2013. And then the 12 threads from 2013 will be in there. If we had 12, I don't know when that started. So the sales section is going to be changed as well. So in the sales section, we're going to have three different folders. One is going to be called permanent offerings. One's going to be called temporary offerings. The other one's going to be called giveaway. If you have a thread in the sales section that you think should be in the permanent offerings and not in the temporary offerings, please send me a PM or just make a post in your thread saying this should be in permanent offerings. Uh, so far to my knowledge there's only one person who has like a serious permanent offerings but if you think that your thread should be considered for that folder please let me know. And I'm going to be doing this on a case by case basis. You have to be a long time member of the forum, your thread has to be updated occasionally with you know the current list of stock. I understand that during dormancy it's hard to have things available but for most of the year you should have things available. I think if the car decals go well, that might be a permanent offerings thing on the forum because they're small, they're easy to store, I could do so here at my home. One more quick thing that's going to be a change as to the structure of the forum, the community section where we have introductions, plant picks, everything, that's going to change. So the things that have the most posts are going to be on top. I believe that's like the sales section and the plant pick section. The plant identification section, you need a photo to ID. So that's going to be moved into the plant pick section. So that's going to come off the first page. It's going to be inside the plant pick section. But the entire community section right there in the middle of the front page is going to be reorganized by what gets posted in most. So the most posted in things will be on top. These posted things will be on the bottom. This helps mix the four easier to navigate you don't have to scroll as much at least on the first page so that's the first block of the video the second block are actually features that we're going to do away with completely and I know everybody's like oh, you're getting rid of features on the forum why would you do that it's things that we don't really use or I think that are now have come to pass where we already have done what we wanted to do with those features and now they're gonna go away with the first feature it's the forum wiki. We don't use it. Everybody uses the forum as a wiki and so in December it's going to be deleted. The other thing that was not as much of a failure that is going away would be the forum rankings. So on the top there's like a forum rankings where if you click on it you can vote on your favorite officially registered cultivar and the whole point was to see what were the most popular cultivars. Currently we have our answer and I don't think that keeping it up there for another month or two or year is going to change what the answers are that much. So currently here are the winners for the forum rankings on the Saracenia forum. Uh, the first top voted uh, cultivar of Saracenia was Adrian Slack with 39 votes, then Leo Wilkerson with 36 votes, uh, Reptilian Rose with 29 votes, Judith Tindall with 23 votes, Hurricane Creek White with 22, and Wakama with 20 votes. So those are the top voted uh, cultivars, officially registered Saracenia cultivars. So those are like the Saracenia Forum's favorite cultivars by vote. And now that we have it said in this video, it's going away. The third part of this video is our calendar. So I know last time I had said the next interesting thing that's happening would be uh, the t-shirts, but that wasn't true. That I said that in the last video, but I misspoke. Uh, a lot of things are happening before our t-shirt sales in March and April, so let's just talk about what's going to happen. First of all, it's going to snow on the forum. I know last year I had like snow throughout the entire winter and some people were messaging me like, oh, the forum's so slow because it's snowing. It's only going to snow on holidays, so Thanksgiving, Christmas Eve, Christmas, New Year's Eve, and New Year's. So for those five days, it's going to snow on the forum, and I'll turn it off probably the next day or late at night. Also, on Black Friday, 
the form is having a death trap viewing. Now, if you've never seen Death Trap, it's an old nature episode. And it's a very good one, too. It was first made in 1986, so a bit outdated, but it has amazing shots of sundews capturing ants and what happens inside uh, Leaf of a Saracenia purpurea. And it's pretty gruesome, but it's really, really awesome. And I really hope you can join me on uh, Black Friday. So it's the Friday right after Thanksgiving. 8 o'clock we're going to be watching this all as a group online and the link is automatically generated when I make it and when I do that the link will be generated so sometime between 7 and 7 30 on that day I'm going to be posting the link let's talk about bigger events the form auction is actually happening before the t-shirt sale and last year we donated the auction money to the North American Saracenia Conservancy Nobody really had a say in where we were going to donate the money, but that's because they were helping us out with the auction. But now that we know how to do the auction, in January, I'm going to be putting up the Saracenia Forum 2016 auction, you know, folder. And in there, there's going to be an ideas thread. And if you have an organization or somewhere you think the money should go to, please post in that thread in January because... Once the first week of February comes up, we're going to be voting on where do we donate our auction money to. Also, what this means is that the auction will happen in late February. So that gives you all of December and all of January, the first two weeks of February, to get you know divisions together if you want to do that, or if you want to start your leaf pullings of Pinguicula or Sundews now and have them available for the auction, that's also a great idea because that's a good amount of time to get a leaf pulling started. Now, last year most of the auction was money was raised uh, from Saracenia only, but it doesn't only have to be Saracenia uh, donated. Even if it's a small thing that raises a small amount of money to donate, it's still a great thing because we're doing it for a good cause. And so we got to talk about the t-shirts because the t-shirts happen right after. And I have some information that might be exciting to some of you. I feel like last year the t-shirt sales weren't as good as the first year. Not because the design wasn't as good, but because it only came in one color. I think that that really took away from what the t-shirt was trying to be. And it looked great in the color we chose, but there were a lot of other colors that could have worked equally as well. And so this year, instead of offering different varieties of shirt, I'm going to offer the four top voted colors of the t-shirt. So the t-shirt will come in different colors this year. Yay! Hopefully that will help increase sales. I thought the different types of shirts will help increase sales. But I don't think it really did much. And so that's what we're going to do this year for the t-shirt. We're still going to be voting on a very, very large list of colors so that you all can see what they look like on different colors. And then we can uh, choose the four top colors from that voting. But again, the voting for the t-shirts will happen right after the auction in March. So we're going to be voting on what organization to donate to, whose design are we going to use, what colors are they going to come in, and that's all important things to discuss. So if you are an artist uh, or you have like some kind of uh, Photoshop skills and you want to try to submit a design in early March would be the time to do it. The voting will all occur within the last two weeks of March, and then we'll get our April t-shirt sales all set. Also, this is another announcement new to the forum. Uh, some people have been talking about this in the past, uh, but soon after the t-shirt sales, we are going to have our very first Saracenia Forum car decal. It's like those things you put on the windows for your car, and it's going to be actually the same design as the t-shirt. And so what this means is that whoever is making the t-shirt design is going to have uh, that design not only on t-shirts but also on the Saracenia Forum window decals for your car. It's going to come in vinyl and it's going to be in color for the first batch so it's only going to be 20. Assuming I make the money back that I put into it, I'm going to be buying more and perhaps I might be using the designs for the last few years and you don't need a car to buy it. You can actually put it on your window of your dorm room or on any glass surface so if you have a you know greenhouse you want to stick you know Saracenia form there. Whatever you want and I'm going to be giving more information that as it gets closer Again, I don't have the things at hand because we don't have the design at hand, but I know how much it costs to print them out. I've been doing a little bit of research. I know something that a lot of people have been asking for. They've been saying, we want more uh, advertisement for the farm. So this is a, just a small way to do it, and hopefully, hopefully it goes well. We have people actually buying them because uh, I don't really... 
I'm going to be putting my own money into this for the first time on the forum. Yeah, if you want to discuss this or any of the other things I spoke about in the video, there's going to be a thread in the admin section and you can do so below. One more quick thing before we go. There's a new member on the forum called DJ57 and oh my god, if you haven't seen the intro thread where she posts a link to that Flickr page with all her carnivorous plants in that ball garden, you have to do that now. She has Darlingtonia in ice, and I was just like awestruck at how amazing that looked. Uh, there's a lot of sundews, a lot of butterworts in her collection, in her outdoor bog garden. It just looks amazing, and actually right now she currently has a new giveaway. And so as of recording this, she's saying that she's going to be doing multiple city giveaways where she's giving out the extra stuff she has in her fridge. So if you've seen that Flickr page, you want to get in on this because she has some pretty amazing things going on in her garden. So all the updates for December. Hopefully you guys uh, like the changes to the form. They're going to happen slowly. So we're going to be like putting up the three folders in the sale section and then moving things little by little as they come up. One last thing I wanted to say that the Saracenia Forum now has a new YouTube channel. What that means is that we can do very, very cool and creative things on the Saracenia Forum. And this channel is where I'm going to be posting this update that you're seeing right now. I'm going to be posting more information about this, but I really want this to be a community channel, not just a channel where I post things. And so I think it's important that we have a discussion about what types of videos and ideas for videos to put up. I have a few ideas and there's going to be one uh, very special first video that I want to put up as a group and so everybody can send small clips and if you want to participate in that please go into the groups projects section under the YouTube Saracenia Forum YouTube page thread and I'm going to be posting ideas there and if you want to participate please do because I'm looking for people and I'm looking for ideas and I have a lot of ideas myself but I need people as well to help make them reality to make this YouTube channel successful again it will be mainly educational videos videos about conservation videos about uh, taxonomy and the types of cultivars available and all types of interesting stuff and so if you want to participate please do so in the groups projects section so I guess that's all for today <laughs> sorry this video was a bit long I know I'm sorry but uh, we'll see you soon ciao